then the next thing we want to do is we want to use the liquify tool because we want to kind of add a little bit more expression and an evil look on our face. So we're going to do the liquify tool to do just that. So we're going to go ahead and select our base layer, which is our woman, and we're going to go up and liquify her. So we're going to tweak the nose a little bit, and um, that's afterwards. So let me go ahead and show you how I got there. I'm going to go down to liquify. It's going to pop open. And let's go ahead and zoom in. We're going to tweak the nose a little bit. I want to bring her nose down so she has more of this long, pointy, kind of a witch nose. It's not going to do anything unrealistic. So I'm going to grab right here the forward warp tool. And I'm going to get a pretty decent sized brush. So maybe call it 166. I'm just kind of pushing her nose to make it a little bit more pointy. Kind of bringing her nose in so it's more skinny. Just little small changes. Nothing too dramatic. Okay, and another thing we want to do is maybe add a little curve to her eyebrow. Maybe it looks like she is kind of raising one eyebrow, kind of an evil, sinister way. So I'm just still using this tool right here, the forward warp tool, I'm just kind of pushing it up a little bit. Nothing too dramatic, just, just a little raised eyebrow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So it kind of gave her a little bit of a, a kind of a smirk on her face. And one thing I want to do is I want to bring out these um, fingernails a little bit more and the uh, fingers. So this dark background is what's kind of covering our entire image right here. So this is what we painted on. It's just kind of a brush. It's just a brush. It doesn't have any kind of, it's got a normal blending mode. It's just a brush painted on. So I'm going to simply take the eraser tool and maybe kind of do 30% opacity and kind of just kind of brush away a little bit where the fingers are. Might even back it off a little bit and make it bigger. Okay. Just clicking and just having it slowly fade. But I want to bring out those fingernails a lot more. And so those fingernails look washed out. And one thing we could do is uh, paint, um, paint a little bit on there. So we're going to take, increase the opacity here and make our eraser tool a little bit smaller. And I'm erasing all of the black off of there. So we can add fingernails. So these will be nails. We'll add that on top of the green makeup. And we're going to do some nice dark red nails. We're going to paint it on and we're going to make this, of course, overlay. Make that a small brush. We're going to paint on some nail polish. You can see how fun this could be. Definitely need a smaller brush for this more detailed work. Just painting it on. It's really fun. And sometimes I just go over just for the sake of having it be easier to erase than it is sometimes to stay in the borders. I'm just going to go in and make sure I'm at 100% to erase. I'm going to go ahead and clean up any nail polish off of the skin. And there we go. We have our, our little fingers popping out there. So there's a few more things we could do. There's one more thing we could do in particular, and that's add her hat shadow, the shadow that's going to be cast by her black hat. So we can go down to dark background, or we could just add a new layer, and we're going to do black. We're just going to be painting it on. We don't need to do a blending mode here. We're just painting on black. We're going to do a pretty nice, big, soft, round brush. And we're going to have to practice kind of our swoop here. We're going to do kind of a hat, kind of bend here, and kind of get rid of her forehead. So that she'll be wearing a hat. So we might want to practice a few times. We're going to kind of go down and swoosh up. And we could maybe do it a little bit bigger. Or I guess that might be a pretty good brush just a little bit so you can kind of see where she would be wearing a hat. And you can always use Command Z and go back and try again if you don't like exactly how it's swooping. We kind of swoop more down at an angle. That might be what works out the best, kind of swooping down. And what's great is if you don't like that layer, this is non-destructive, so I can just remove that layer and try again. Um, so I could do just that. I can delete it and add a new layer and keep drawing. 
So that could work, or maybe a little more dramatic of an angle, just like that. So there we go. We are getting really close. I'm going to do a couple of fine tuning, uh, maybe bring out her fingers a little bit more and do some more uh, play around with the dodge and burn uh, layers just a little bit. But I think we're getting pretty close to finishing up our Wicked Witch. So a couple of things we can do to kind of add a little bit more of a grainy um, texture to the piece. I'm going to go ahead and grab our bottom layer right here, kind of our base layer. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to add just a little bit of noise. So I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go up to noise and I'm going to go to add noise. And you just have to add a little bit. You can kind of see the effect here. This is kind of a dramatic effect, but we just want to have maybe just 5%, just adds a little bit of a grainy texture to it. So that's kind of before, let me go to history, that's before, after. So it kind of adds a little bit more texture to her face. It doesn't seem so smooth, it kind of seems more raw, a little bit more emotional. So it kind of adds a little bit to that dramatic pop and flare. I'm also going to bring out um, uh, my dodge and burn. I think I need to kind of work on that a little bit. So I'm going to go and grab my burn tool. I'm just going to kind of accentuate, let's bring my exposure level down, just kind of accentuate certain dark areas a little bit more, especially right here in the corner of her eyes and down here on her nose. Can make that a little bit more dramatic. I don't think we need to mess with highlights as much. So we already have a whole lot of highlights here on her nose. We'll switch that to highlights. So I think we're pretty much going to be done there. Also kind of want to clean this up a little bit. Let's see. Let's go ahead and we're just highlighting our dark background here. I'm going to just kind of erase this just a little bit more. Oh, not quite as much. Just a little bit more. Kind of bring that out a bit. We can also do the dodge and burn layer and grab our dodge and burn tools. Kind of add some highlights that way. See how we just kind of brought her finger out a little bit. Perfect. So we can also tweak the color of her face. Um, so right now we just have the green on. So this is what it looks like without the green makeup. And I'm going to add a new layer on top of the green makeup. And I'm going to also make sure that has an overlay. And instead of just painting on different colors of green, I'm going to see if I can't get a green but a little bit more on the orange side, just to kind of see if we can't bring out a little bit of a warm tone here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a big brush. You kind of see what I'm talking about once I do the effect. Go ahead and bring, make that a little bit more deep and a little bit more orange. I'm just kind of adding some warm tones to certain areas, kind of makes the face a little bit more complex. So that's before. This is after adding a little bit of that orange. I can always go up to adjustments and go to color balance and uh, change the color balance, make it warmer or cooler, depending on what I think the color should be. Kind of adds a little bit of blush to her cheeks. Makes her look a little bit more alive. Because sometimes it's not just as, as simple as doing one color and you're done. It's always layers upon layers of colors and highlights and, sh and shadows. So we can toggle that on and off. We can maybe even back off the opacity just a little bit to have it be even more subtle. So I think we're done. I think let's go ahead and zoom out. Um, we could Maybe her head shape is a little funky. So I could just go to dark background and that was just a simple black that we painted on. I'm going to continue to kind of shave that off. Let me do a 50% opacity. Kind of see if I can't round this off a little bit. Kind of uh, get her shape a little bit better. I'll be back in just a few short minutes.